It's Rebecca. Do you remember a few videos back I told you about a small church down the road from my house that sells bric-a-brac and bits and pieces and books? Well, I went in there again and they have a cabinet thing, like a desk bureau type thing for sale in there. And I've walked past it many a time and not bothered to really look at it because I don't need one. And then the other day I thought, I wonder if there's actually anything in the cupboards underneath. It's like a desky bit on the top and then cupboards and drawers down at the bottom. There was something in the cupboards. Yeah, more books. So <laughs> I spent quite a lot of time sitting on the floor trawling through all of the books and yeah I had to buy some because books. So the first one and it's another lovely old yellowy old book smell type books and it's called Told in the Dark a book of uncanny stories and these are just short stories by various authors about strange things but it's all old and the spine is all broken and it's just oh I do like books like this even if I don't read them I just like to look at them oh and this one was two shillings I think that's two shillings but yeah really like those types of books so I've got that one got another Christmas book not just for Christmas Debbie Macomba Macomba Apologies, rubbish saying names. But yeah, like I said before, I want to read Christmas type books at the end of the year. I want to fill my head with just the excitement of Christmas. So that's another one. I think I've got four or five so far. That's another one. A Year of Marvellous Ways, Sarah Winman. Again, I can't help it. I buy books because they just look interesting I don't even know what it's about I can't help it one day by David Nichols I saw David Nichols speak oh was it a couple of months back at the Chipping Norton Literary Festival I didn't buy a book then just because I wasn't sure I have seen this film I can't remember if I liked it or not but yeah thought I'd buy the book don't like the film poster cover as we know, but it's cheap, so if I don't like it, I'll just take it back down there. Another Christmas book, Make a Christmas Wish by Julia Williams. I think somebody must have bought loads of Christmas books and then just got bored of them and, and donated them to this church for sale. Because there's quite a lot there, so again, another one. You know, I'm not a very fast reader, so I may have to save some of these for next Christmas, but yeah. I can put that on my shelf. Cupcakes of Carrington's by Alexandra Brown. I don't know what this one's about. The cover was quite nice. It's got shiny gold bits on it. And it's got cupcakes in the title. Can you really go wrong with something like that? Don't think so. I also picked up Michael... Is it Michael Crichton? Oh, I'm so rubbish at pronouncing names. Oh, terrible. The Lost World. I do have Jurassic Park somewhere. Um... Yeah, quite liked it. Film, not so much a fan of, but yeah, thought I'd give that one a go. And it's a hardback copy. Oh, I didn't even notice on the inside. It's got a little map of the um, of the island and different types of dinosaurs. Hmm, that's quite interesting. And finally, Arthur Conan Doyle, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. I don't actually have any Sherlock Holmes books. And this one's a Reader's Digest book, so it's quite a nice quality book. Doesn't even it doesn't even feel like it's been opened. Like this, the spine makes a weird creaky noise, so it doesn't even feel like anyone's read this. Oh, it's got little illustrations in it as well. So yeah, I've not I've not read any Sherlock Holmes either. So there's a collection there. So yeah, 
that's very naughty to hide books in the cupboards of the bits of furniture that you're selling as well. I may need to have a look and see if there's anything else hidden in there. And maybe they've got a bookcase for sale. Mm. Have a good day. I'll see you soon.